Evacuation orders now lifted after a level three notice because of a fire south of Lebanon near the town of Sodaville. Billy Spots joins us live now from Lane County. He's right near the fire scene. And Billy, what can you tell us? Well, thank you, Hayden. As you can see behind me, we have this really kind of dramatic look of this burnt field. But as for what started the fire, I was able to talk to a man earlier today. One thing he told me was that it may have been his fault, but it was an accident. It was a result of uh, some friction buildup in his tractor, which caused the spark. Now we're waiting to confirm that with fire officials before that is like the confirmed reason for this fire. But that is the kind of leading understanding as it as it stands. But off in the distance over, over to my right, you can see some fire, some hot spots still kind of kicking up earlier today or not even earlier today, like not even five minutes ago, you were seeing some fire kind of pop up over that hill next to where that uh, moving equipment is. But as it stands, those level three evacuations have been lifted. That was due to the really kind of quick response from ODF. They brought in fire or they brought in fire crews uh, from the surrounding area alongside, I believe it was uh, Lebanon. You also had Sweet Home Fire as well as ODF on scene. ODF brought a helicopter in and that was one of the big reasons why they were able to deal with this field fire as quickly as they did. Now we're waiting for more information as to, you know, what exactly was the cause. We, you know, we believe we have have an answer but we're not entirely sure just yet but we keep you guys updated right here uh, at NBC 16 until that information becomes available uh, reporting in Sodaville right outside Lynn County I'm Billy Spots back to you Hayden all right thank you very much Billy the bedrock fire east of Eugene has now passed 10,000 acres fire officials posted this flyover video this morning showing smoke in the Falls Creek drainage area fire managers say crews are still making progress building and reinforcing the lines around the fire at this point, there are more than 700 people working to get the bedrock fire under control. And today, the incident command moved near Pleasant Hill to better support them. Usually I liken it to building a small town within a, a couple of days. So we've got the firefighters, of course, but they need to be fed. So there's a kitchen that provides them three large meals a day. There's laundry facilities. Um, there's shower facilities. There's, there's people that work in HR to make sure everybody's getting paid. Fire managers are having a community meeting tonight at Oak Ridge High School at 730 and another one tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at McKinsey High School. The flat fire in Curry County is now over 27,000 acres in size and it remains at 14 percent containment. Over 1,500 personnel are working on the blaze using over 50 engines, 25 water tenders and nine helicopters. All areas in the vicinity of the fire are now at a level one get ready evacuation status.